This lesson shows you how to draw and interpret line graphs. Data visualization is an important part of data analysis, and one of the simplest methods is a line graph or chart. This is because drawing lines is easy to do, and the graphs are not hard to interpret. For example, in this graph, it's easy to see how earnings changed over five years. A line graph is a kind of graph that contains two or more data points connected by lines. The individual data points represent the relationship between data on the x-axis and data on the y-axis. In this example, the graph shows the relationship between days of the week on the x-axis and kilograms of potatoes consumed on the y-axis in a certain restaurant. A line graph has five main features, title, scale, points, labels, and a line. The title tells you what the graph is about. Choose a title that is brief and appropriately describes the data. The scale of the graph explains the number of units used to define each point on the graph. For this graph, the months of the year are shown on the x-axis. The population is shown on the y-axis, starting at zero and increasing by 200. Selecting the right scale can be a challenge. If there are too many scale marks close together or too far apart, they're not useful. The points or data points show the value of each data on the graph. For example, this point shows the population of about 1100 in June. Each axis on a line graph has a label that indicates what kind of data is represented. A line is drawn by joining the points on the graph together. The line is the actual graph, while the other parts of the graph are guides to help you understand the line. A simple line graph is a kind of graph that is plotted with only a single line. It shows the relationship between two variables. For example, this graph shows the relationship between time in years and earnings in hundreds of dollars. You can see that earnings have had ups and downs, but are up over five years. A multiple line graph is a kind of graph that is plotted with two or more lines. It is used to compare sets of data values. In this case, the enrollment of part-time students is compared to full-time students over a five-year period. After an increase in 2015, full-time enrollment declined for two years. However, in the most recent year, enrollment is increasing again. Part-time enrollment over five years is trending slightly downward. This lesson showed you how to draw and interpret line graphs. And this lesson is brought to you by the Math Fun Academy, its continuing mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new math and new equations, Boldly go where no math student has gone before.